It's so soft. What I like about pug skin is when you stroke it, you really get something back. It's as if your hand is being stroked back. Um, I think that's why people love dogs so much. Um, cow skin, it's not quite the same. Hello, my name is David and I work for the Meaningful Shoe Company. We're probably best known for making atheist shoes, like these, uh, but we're now diversifying to do something else which we call Walkies Forever. The idea for Walkies Forever originally came from a customer of ours, Tina, who lives in Portland. Uh, she asked if we could turn her pug dog into a pair of boots once he'd passed. He had a rare heart disease, which meant he could drop dead at any moment. And she just couldn't bear the idea of being without him. So we realized that, yes, we have the skill and technology to make it happen. And although we were a little freaked out about it, we decided, well, if this can bring comfort to Tina through her grief, well, then why wouldn't we do it? Frodo and his brother Samwise have lived with Tina for seven years now. Naturally, all the family are starting to get a bit sad that Frodo won't be around much longer. I'm going to miss you, buddy. Well, Frodo passed away last night, so we're preparing for a send-off. Uh, we're not supposed to waste any time, so uh, we're putting him in the box they sent us, and uh, we're going to get him shipped off. So we just got our package back from Meaningful Shoes today. Hopefully we've got Frodo back with us now. Sammy, look. look. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, it feels just like him. Is Sammy? Who is it? Sammy? Is it Frodo? Is Frodo here? Oh, I can't wait to take him for a walk. It's like he's here. Frodo can go on walks with us again. I know, we could take him all over the world. So we did that, and um, since then we've realized that a lot of pet owners would like to have their dogs preserved as shoes, and so we're going to launch this service. So far we've only worked with dogs, but we could of course work with other animals. We're open to anything. We will not work with humans. Naturally, we need uh, licenses uh, to do so, which we don't yet have. I was never able to have my own dog when I was yeah. a baby. My dad wouldn't let me have one as a kid, so. It's not too late. No, no, well, I feel I'm getting to work with dogs now for this project, so um, I'm very happy. And if I can own a pair of dog shoes, then it's almost as good, you know? It's a first step.